Hello amazing people, Hazel Bulubisi here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new and you like what you see, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're a regular, welcome back. Last week you saw how we celebrated our last day of classes in med school. If you've not seen that video, I'll leave a card linked above. This week, some of my classmates and I will share our most memorable experiences of med school and also just how we managed to cope with it. Well, hi everyone. Hello. This is for Azel YouTube <laughs> video, and she asked me yeah. how, like, how was my experience in this university as a medical student. Yes. And basically, um, she asked me to say something memorable mm -hmm. about this experience. Mm -hmm. And since it's been like six years, uh, six years yeah. uh, it's been a lot. <laughs> I can say a lot of things, but the only thing <laughs> I can really uh, yeah. I really want to transmit to I want to you to feel is mm -hmm. that basically when you when you're in this experience uh, you can always push your limit That's which true. is which is yeah. fantastic because yeah. basically you find yourself at a moment in time <laughs> when you're like in the library at 2am in the morning <laughs> and you say it's not my <laughs> the right time for me it's not the right thing for me yep. and after that yeah. then you push your limit, you do it, and just after that, you realize that it was for you. Exactly. And I think that this is the most important thing I learned from this experience. And wow. it's the only one thing I, I just want to share with you. So if you have, like, if you, a name, like, if you want to, if you want something in your life, you should never give up. I know it's something like we commonly say, and it's like, <laughs> A mantra yeah, but, but it's true though you should pursue it, it like till the end even yeah. if you're 60 like for example mm -hmm. um Hazel doesn't know about it but um my my sister is mm -hmm. 31 years old mm -hmm. and she started a uh, uni university like in pharmacy mm -hmm. uh, when she was 18 and mm -hmm. then she she quit it because she was so um she's got she's got so overwhelmed and she's starting mm -hmm. having um self-confidence problems mm -hmm. uh, for university and after that like all together with my family and uh, support from friends she's mm -hmm. starting again university after like eight years mm -hmm. and she's like she's left only three exams from graduation oh. now and that's the most important thing like i learned from her because yeah. she she's starting again after a lot of time but she wanted to do it and when she just recovered from for all the environment and her st stress stressful, stressful situation yes. <laughs> she just started again and she she's been doing it so that's the only thing i want to say yeah so to you. stick to it persevere I mean, there are hardships everywhere, so it's normal, you go through it, but you push till the end. I mean, we are here now, we are celebrating, yes, we have exams next week, but we exactly. are happy to there's celebrate, a, it's a milestone. So we are there's a friend of mine who always says, Arianna, mm -hmm. like, if you're having a moment, a down moment, mm -hmm. uh, it means you're doing something, That's because you are having a down. Yeah, like so if you're not having downs, ups and downs means you're not doing anything. Yeah, it means you're dead. Yeah. Same thing to the ECG. If it's flat, you're dead. If they're ups and downs, Literally. you're alive. <laughs> yeah. So I think anyway. that's it. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> hey everybody, this is today for uh, Hazel's uh, YouTube channel and vlog and everything. Uh, we're here after the last day of class. My most memorable experience in med school. I would say it'll probably be this moment right here because, you know, we had a great time, all of us, we went drinking, Gambas, he gave us all a speech, it was very, um, it's quite long, it was a bit emotional, I did feel uh, quite emotional during his speech, but it made me realize, you know, that the time I'm spending here with my friends like Hazel, Julia and Menred, the cutie is like, it's gonna be very limited in the future and we'll literally like probably will not encounter each other in the future. I really hope this is not the case, but 
it's gonna be very nice i really like them all they're really all my close friends i i like them from my heart really and uh, yeah i hope they all feel the same way as well so my most memorable moment first of all cheers most memorable moment is obviously meeting emir <laughs> obviously <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, it was... No, without, I don't know. Guys, I can't lie. I am a very big fan favorite of this channel and everyone does love me and it's for good reason. So, the reason is very valid. But I'll let her answer another thing just for content purposes. Thank you for the content. Love you, the fans. <laughs> so, I don't know what more to add to that because it's pretty good. <laughs> um, I'll answer the question of what is... Uh, yeah, my most memorable moment was definitely... Uh, suturing a patient for the first time I think Hazel will agree because we we shared that experience also Amir was there filming us like the proud papa that he is <laughs> um, it was a very surreal moment to be completely scrubbed in and having the final impact on a surgery that affected someone's life and he'll probably see that scar and I hope it's not a bad scar because <laughs> then we didn't do a very good job. But yeah, it was, a, it was an extremely incredible moment. Sorry to interrupt, they did a very good job. I was there, I witnessed all of this. There you go. So we did a good job. <laughs> um, that's it, yeah. Most memorable moment. Okay, most memorable. I actually have like a few. Um, can I share more than one? Yes. Number one is when I finally got rid of an exam that like kept me stuck in uh, in uni and and was definitely like one of the hardest moments in my medical school career. Second moment um, was um, when you were talking about your when Marit was talking about hers. I think also when I scrubbed, when I scrubbed in in uh, a neurosurgery, I, I I participated very briefly uh, with. Um, I think I just I wasn't really doing much but it was like it was it was special uh, another time always in the OR when I I inserted a catheter and that was like the first and last time I actually did that but it was uh, it was nice my best most memorable moment does do they have to be the same memorable or crazy was probably right before clinical to molecular 2 last year when there was the euro final <laughs> So that it, didn't have to do with it did the, ne the next because the next day we had the the last exam of the year last year at the Euro finals when Italy won we were watching it near the Colosseum in the center of Rome and we had an exam the next day and the celebrations yeah. all right I'm getting unnecessary comments the festivities basically lasted until five in the morning and at nine we had an exam and w public transport was unavailable no taxis were around and we had to basically walk the whole way home a couple of hours to do the exam uh, I guess my most memorable moments I have so many I guess but the number one one was the same one as Mandrit when we finally got to such a patient it was so amazing like I remember that day we were really excited about it because we really didn't expect it to happen and the prof agreed and we were so happy so I think that tops my most memorable, followed by the first vascular surgery I ever watched. That's when I'd lost hope in medicine. <laughs> then, yeah, that revived my hope back. So I guess, yeah, that was it. Uh, the crazy moment. Ah, there's one more. Before she the crazy moment, I just want to mention some small thing that uh -huh. Hazel is a very modest person. I watched her suture. I watched her attend the vascular surgery. She was very brave. She was very confident. She was very nice. And I think she will make a great doctor, such surgeon, whichever she decides to be in the future. Mm -hmm. I just want to make this very clear for all the audience. She's just being very modest. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Let's go back to another memorable bit. I think uh, there's one patient that I'll never forget who would always see me and always tell me, be strong, be positive. Because the people who know me, I'm very um, quiet and I'm very, like before I actually get comfortable and speak up, it takes some time. But this patient always made sure, they'd always tell me, every time I was in the ward, he was so happy to say hi. And it would always remind me, be strong, you can do this. And it was really cool. It, just some random patient in internal medicine so every time every day of that week he'd always be so excited to see me and be like be strong you can do this every time he's like ask questions don't be afraid 
<laughs> so yeah, I'll always remember him. I don't even know what his name is, but yeah, he'll always be in my memory as well. The crazy ones are just people not being so nice. I remember there's this old grand lady who I had worn a black mask and she has the audacity to ask. She's like, oh, is this girl wearing a mask? I can't tell because her mask is black. And I was like, it's in the morning. I don't have the energy for this negativity. <laughs> She's like, okay, cool. So I think that was my craziest moment. Italy is also a very racist country and we do not condone any form of racism in Thank you, in this I vlog. Like uh, she, she, does, she does not feel anything. She is the greatest. She is the GOAT, G-O-A-T, greatest of all time. She should never feel like this. We are all friends. We are all family. And we hope that she never faces this uh, form of uh, questioning ever again. Thank you. I hope so too. I hope so. Anyway, yeah, I was going to conclude, but it turns out Julia has something else to add, so let her add, then I will conclude. <laughs> she was mentioning uh, the patient thing. Um, I, I once, I think um, in my second year, I volunteered in the hospital, and I was basically going around and uh, helping to feed patients. And uh, the crazy thing that happened was I once, without knowing, I, I was I was helping someone that I t- turned out to be a relative. Oh, yeah, like so he was he was the brother of one of my like of he was the, the brother of my aunt's husband, and it was crazy the way we like the way that we found out about it was pretty emotional, and uh, we had like a, this little moment we teared <laughs> up and oh yeah yeah I just remember that. <laughs> that's really cool. I think that's an experience I'd love to have. So yeah, I think all in all, we all had nice experiences, we had crazy experiences, and yeah, here we are. We've had our last class today, we've had a lot of speeches, a lot of celebrating and screaming, and I think that's it for today. I don't think there's any more, and right now we are having a few snacks, then head home. So there's a pizza! (laughs) Yes. So I think that's it for today. This is how I'll close, and yeah, see you next week. Bye!